Hi, my name is Sassi Cordero and I'm an undergraduate at the Summer Institute of Medical Ignorance Program here at the University of Arizona. I decided to make my video on parasitology in medicine and specifically its misdiagnosis. For some people, parasites are a stuff of nightmares. These organisms take up residence in their human host, hide, and feed off of the nutrients of the person, causing minor elements as well as serious and sometimes life-threatening illnesses. So for my beginning question, how and why are these parasites being misdiagnosed? These microscopic creatures can be passed from person to person and in contact with contaminated clothing, bedding, and food. In some cases, parasites can also be passed through mosquitoes, such as malaria, and even barefoot on soil, such as hookworm, is called in the tropical areas the fiery serpent. Many people think parasites may be acquired only in developing and third world countries, or as a parting gift on an exotic vacation. However, a new report from the Center of Disease Control and Prevention finds these critters very much alive in the United States. Millions of Americans develop parasitic infections and symptoms often go unnoticed or misdiagnosed due to the similarity to minor infections such as nausea, dizziness, fever, and pain. After basic care and tests are conducted, many of these parasites remain undetected and are classified as idiopathic diseases. Scientists at the CDC have discovered cancer cells originating in a common tapeworm may take place in brute when people with weakened immune systems causing cancer-like tumors. In the New England Journal of Medicine, they raise concerns that other similar cases may be misdiagnosed as human cancer, especially in less developed countries where immune-suppressing illnesses like HIV are widespread. In 2003, the CDC took part in helping diagnose biopsies from lung tumors and lymph nodes of a 41-year-old man who was HIV positive. The tumors looked similar to human cancer, but the CDC lab studies revealed the cancer cells were not human. The revelation solved a three-year hunt for the cause of the man's illness. A similar parasite transmitted by the kissing bug can cause Chagas disease. It can stay dormant and undetected up to 20 years. It can later manifest itself in a congestive heart failure after showing symptoms of swollen eyelids and rashes. As parasitic infections are rising in Western medicine, so are the misdiagnoses. In third world countries, parasitic infections are often caught early due to how common it is. While in the United States, it's taken up to surgery to realize what exactly they're dealing with. Since the misdiagnosis of parasites is becoming more and more common in Western medicine, is it the ignorance of the physicians to blame for not suspecting parasites in the first place because they reside in a first world country, or is it technology to blame for not detecting it? 